up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Eliance's Heroes. Eliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups, where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Eliance's. That's right. I got to tell you, I woke up at 4 a.m. because I was so excited about who we have coming on the show today. I mean, we've just learned so much from these incredible people that have done so much in their career and continue to do. Later on in the show, before I tell you who our first hero is, later on the show, you ready for this? We have, have you ever heard, where a kid could be a kid. That's right. The founder of Chuck E. Cheese's. We also, too, will be having on the founder and CEO of Direct Source Wealth, who could be reached at directsourcewealth.com, and they're going to share some many secrets about being wealthy, attaining wealth, and so much more. And thank you, too, for the feedback that we continue to receive from our interviews with Don Most and Anson Williams, otherwise uh, known on Happy Days as Ralph Melf and Potsy, who will be coming and planning to come to our grand table coming up. So here we go. Are you ready for this? You will not be able to get this tune out of your head. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hops, ready to race to you. These days are on. That's right. She really needs no introduction because you're going to recognize her voice. But she is well-known, 11-year run as Miss C on the iconic show Happy Days, right, as Miss Cunningham. Marion Ross is here today, and we are so honored to have her. In fact, Marion, you were uh, known as the mom on Happy Days. What was uh, what was the most impact that the show had on you? Because, again, you were on the show for 11 years. That's a long run to be on TV for one show. <laughs> well, this is a rousing, a rousing welcome. It's so nice to talk to you, my dear. I'm so proud of you. You turned out so good, darling. Yes, it's just so nice. Well, <clears throat> what a life we all have had on Happy Days. Can you believe it? So, and to think that we did it live, you know, with an audience out there was so fun. And uh, we had, when we had a wonderful softball team, I just went to a party for Ron and his daughter Bryce last weekend. So you see, I saw everybody. Unbelievable. I saw Donnie Most and Ants and everybody. Was yeah. it kind of surreal? I mean, had it had been a while since you have seen them? Well, actually. I've seen Donnie and Anson quite a bit, and Ron, not Ron so much. First of all, he lives in, in New York, and he's a very busy guy. But uh, it's it's we're we're quite close when you consider that the show we you know we quit in eighty eight you know, but it's never left the air. It's always been on some somewhere sometime. How how many epi- I mean, how many episodes uh, have you done? We did about 260. Isn't that something? It's incredible. And I got to ask you, what's the secret to be able to memorize those lines? Because from what I understand, and I'm believe me, I'm the last person to be an actor, but it seems like you need to also know everybody else's lines so you know when to, when to queue up. <laughs> that's, the, that's the least of it. That's the easiest part of it. Because if you think that in a half-hour show, you only have about 20 minutes. Really? Isn't that something? And you divide that up among a cast of eight people, you're not going to have that many lines. You really aren't. And by the time we rehearsed all week, uh, also we kept changing the lines all the time, you know, keep changing it all week long. And then Friday night, even Friday night when we were shooting it, they we they would have a little huddle of the meeting and then say, we're going to change that line. Okay, okay, you got it, you got it, I got it, I got it. You know, you got to, you have to be quick. You got to keep, keep on your feet. Now, I want our listeners to know you are also an author, and the book is called My Days Happy 
and otherwise. And the foreword is actually by Ron Howard, who you had just mentioned. What was the inspiration right. to write this book, which, by the way, listeners, you can pick this up at Amazon, so make sure you go to Amazon.com and type in My Days, Happy, and Otherwise. What was the inspiration to write this book? Well, it wasn't my idea. I'll tell you that. It wasn't mine, no. But my son kept bringing this author to my house. He said, "We're going to, Mother, you're going to do a book. We're going to do a book. I said, well, I don't think so, you know. So then that once they got me talking, you know, and they would write down everything. That's the way to write a book, right? Mm-hmm. So, Absolutely. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's just, unless you are an author, it's something you're not going to do. Right. Oh, no. Absolutely incredible. I've got to tell you, it is just, it's so surreal talking to you. I feel, I mean, I feel like I've known you for so long. It's just from the show and again, and from even seeing the reruns. And you're listening to me, David Kogan, host of the Alliance's Hero Show, the only place where entrepreneurs align. Make sure you go to alliances.com. That's E L I A N. CES.com because we've got Marion Ross. She is known as Miss C on Happy Days. She is an auth- also an author. My Days, Happy and Otherwise that you can pick up on Amazon. And of course, we'll have a link on our website at alliances.com, E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. But you've also done so many things. You've appeared in both theater productions like Steel Magnolias, also well-known TV shows, The Drew Carey Show, Gilmore Girls, Brothers and Sisters, this, That 70s Show. I mean, the list just goes on and on. What do you feel of all of these things that you've learned most that you could share with others that would like to perhaps go into the same profession or expand their profession? Oh, well, you know, I had a revelation at one point. Uh, I was un- I was put under contract to Paramount when I was 22, which is extraordinary when I look back on it. But then, when I by the time I was 25, I was let go, and I'm I, it occurs to me I'm reading the trade papers. You know, you read the trades, and all of a sudden it occurs to me that it's all about selling. You know, mm-hmm. so that I have to hire a press agent, right? Mm-hmm. And once you've got the feeling of how this system works, then that's a real breakthrough. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Oh, absolutely. Well, how was it for you? Was it surreal, like, the first time that you saw yourself on TV in one of the Happy Days episodes? I mean, how was that? Well, I'd been on I – was, I was, like, 52 years old by the time I got on Happy Days. So I had already uh, done a lot. An awful lot before that, and uh, it's it's just extraordinary to have earned my living as an actor all these years because I'm now 80, 89. Can you believe that? No, do, I can't. Do you know anybody who was eighty nine? I can't. Other I, than me, <laughs> right? I I mean I absolutely can't believe it. And I got to tell you, you made me a hero this morning when I was driving my son to school. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because I told him I'm going to be interviewing, you ready for this? SpongeBob's voiceover who played the granny. Also, too, you had the guest spot on the Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon show. So he's like, wow, that's amazing. So I got to tell you, you know what? Definitely a huge feather in my cap. We have a little less than a minute left, Marion. But I need to ask you, too, is, is you have kids. You played a mom for many years on Happy Days. What secrets can you share, perhaps, for other mothers, other parents that are listening now that would like to th- be like to have their children be successful like you've been? Oh, don't encourage them. I did not encourage my children to do this. My daughter was a writer on Friends, Ellen, uh, Ellen Kramer. My son, Jim Meskimen, has a commercial running right now where he's Lincoln being dragged across the no, he's George Washington being dragged across the freeway in a boat. That's my son Jim Meskimen, Meskimen for for Geico. No, you. Do. I don't think you want to encourage people to do this. They better have a strong will, or they can't do it. They got to do it. Unbelievable. Well, thank you so much, Marion. You are like. I mean, just incredible actor and an icon, Marion Ross. Pick up her book, My Days. 
happy and otherwise from Amazon. And thank you, too, to Direct Source Wealth, your partner in building wealth and time freedom. Learn more at directsourcewealth.com. David Kogan with the Alliances. And when we come have coming up, the founder of Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs>